Graphing inequalities is awesome because it's pretty straightforward. So much of math is like confusing and a nightmare. And I think graphing inequalities is pretty cool, pretty easy. And inequalities are not equalities, right? So it's not x equals 2 or x equals 5. It would be an inequality, which means greater than or less than. So it'd be something like, you know, x is greater than 2, x is less than 5, whatever. There, uh, there are these inequality signs. The first thing you have to know going into this whole game of inequalities, this whole world, this underworld of inequalities, is that there's such a thing as an open dot and a closed dot, right? And you're like, well, I mean, is it the same thing? Here's the rule. <laughs> if you have a number that is greater than or less than, it is an open dot. That's just a rule. It means not including. It means it does not include that number, right? So if you have whatever, you know, x is greater than 3 or x is less than 5. In either of those cases, when you graph it, it would be an open dot, right? If it in, in, includes the number, for instance, x is greater than or equal to anything, or if it's x is less than or equal to anything, then you have a filled in dot signifying that you actually do include that point. And don't stress, children of the world, I'm going to do a few examples. So here's your generic number line. Right, and we'll do a few uh, a few examples. So let's say you have let's just fill that in. Let's say you have something like x is greater than you know three. You'd go to your number line and you'd count up to three: one, two, three. Put an open circle, right? And if x is greater than three and not less than three, it's to the right because it's all values bigger than three. Don't get into this whole like I've heard kids that are like. Mm, so the arrow points the way that you're going to shape. Don't play any of those games because there's a few exceptions. And if you're just memorizing where the arrow points, you're going to totally get an F on for the rest of your life. So this one, x is greater than 3. This is all values to the right of 3, not including 3, hence the open circle. If I wanted that a closed circle, the same problem. Let's say it was an equal. Boom. Oh, now it's filled in. So it's very easy to, to fix that. OK. Now, here's another one, right? And these are pretty basic, so I'll try not to bore you to death. Uh, let's say x is less than or equal to whatever, negative 1. Go down to negative 1 right here. Is this an open circle or a filled in circle? You in the back? OK, nailed it. It's a closed circle. Now this, so am I graphing to the right or to the left? This is all values less than or equal to. So this direction, of course, negative a million is less than negative one, so it's these to the side. Okay, I do know a case where you could potentially get messed up. And I'm into that, I think it's cool. So let me show you this. Okay, so there's a case where I've seen where teachers, to be witty, will give you a problem intentionally trying to mess you up. I said it here, you heard it. I used to sit in in some teacher conferences and they enjoy this kind of thing. So instead of being nice and being like x is greater than 2, maybe they'll write x is greater than 2 backwards just to throw you a curveball, right? Look at this. What does that say? And I think what happens is, is you always see it written the correct way. So when it's written backwards, you like pause for a minute. This destroys the whole follow the arrow theme that your friend told you. Don't do that. Two ways to do this. One is to actually just read it and say, well, x is definitely bigger than 2 because this symbol, remember the whole like, OK, this is a shark. He likes to eat the bigger meals, so that is a bigger meal. X is a bigger meal than 2. I realize you're probably too old for that. The other way to do it is to just actually say, if I took this whole thing and flipped it exactly over, it would look like this, which is legal. That's street legal. So I do that. I don't know if you have to do that. If you're so smart that you can see that x is bigger than 2, uh, again, I like to flip them. Um, either way, x is still bigger than 2. So we're going to go over to 2, close dot or open dot. This is totally an open dot, and you go to the right. So that's it. I mean, they're very, they're very easy. Don't mess up the shading in the circle. A lot of times on a test, you'll like know that, but you'll forget to shade it in. You'll get it wrong. Um, but that's it for uh, graphing inequalities. And remember, if you're having a hard time at your local high school passing this math class, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to you.